New at 10, Lady Luck shines her light on a small city pounded by record rain. Somebody bought the winning Supercash ticket from a store in Burlington, and tonight is the talk of the town. A town that is slowly returning to normal. All of the power's back on, and most of the bridges are once again open. But there is still a curfew in place until 6 in the morning. Rebecca Clough is there live. Rebecca. George and Carol, it's the same message people have heard for the past few days. It's 10 o'clock. You need to be off the streets and in your homes. But it's a strange message to hear, especially on a Friday night in a town that's usually really busy over the summer. A lot of people are out and about in downtown Burlington, but their options are limited. So we were closed about a day and a half is what we lost. Rugen's opened Friday afternoon, just in time for dinner. John's main event, a bar and grill downtown, wishes they could do the same. We have no food because all our freezers have been, you know, down because we had no power. John did open up his bar last night and today just to get some revenue. Because we have to close at 10 because there's a curfew. But his neighbor, Fred's Burgers, is still dealing with water. In the midst of all the flooding, there is some good news. Someone bought a winning lottery ticket at the grocery store yesterday. We had a winner that won $350,000. The city has been closed down for two days. So it has to be, has to be some, somebody from Burlington. And people are hoping it's someone affected by the floods. Good for them. I hope they can use it. Now, as you can see, there is still some water on some of the streets, though a lot of it is receding. The bridges, the last one just reopened at 10 o'clock tonight, so all the bridges in the city are opened and all the power has been restored to Burlington. For now, reporting live downtown, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Rebecca.